Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to Heaven, Healing, and Tarot. This is Christina. Happy New Year. Today we're going to be getting you some messages. Uh, before I do that, though, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is get you your angel numbers. Let's see what they are today. We have 2, 8, 5, 7. 2, 8, 5, 7. I'm going to put you on pause so I can write that down. And you know I always post the meaning of those numbers in the comments. So here we go with your cards. We have Six of Swords, Four of Cups, Knight of Cups, the Fool, Six of Cups. All right. So things are going to be getting easier for you. I feel like you're in a time right now of like not completely being happy. Um, just discontent, not, not sadness or anything like that, but just not satisfied. And I feel like you're coming out of that. I feel like you, things are going to be getting easier. I feel like there is, there is an offer coming in. It could be an offer of love for those of you looking for love. It could be, um, somebody coming in to sweep you off your feet. But if you're not, I feel like it's just like a, a new offer that's going to, you know, make you happy. And the fool's here saying, go for it. Take the chance. Take the leap. This is a new adventure. And, um, you know, with that four of cups here, you might, you might be tempted not to take it. And this is this, the fool here saying, no, go for it. Just, just go for it. Take the leap of faith. This is going to lead to a new adventure and, and it'll be fun for you. This person could be somebody from your past. Um, it's Six of Cups. This is the nostalgia card, right? This is thinking about either childhood memories or, or thinking about people, friends from the past. So this Knight of Cups could be somebody coming in from the past, coming back to say, hey, remember me? <laughs> I have some great ideas. <laughs> I have this new offer for you. <laughs> We'll see. Let's get some more cards. Am I like cro crooked? Maybe. All right, here we go. Oh, it's a soulmate. It's a soulmate. Hmm. All right, so like I said, if you're looking for love, love could be coming in real quick. Somebody important. Deep spiritual bonds here. But if not, it could just be, you know, somebody that is important. Nine of Wands. Why do you have the Wounded Warrior card here? I think you're just kind of... All right, all right. So something happened in your past that you just feel like you have to stick up for yourself all the time. Maybe this person took advantage of you in the past. Maybe that's why you feel like the war Wounded Warrior around this person. Maybe something wasn't on the up and up, whoever this person is. But you know what? You're an Empress energy here. This is happiness. This is a lot of creative ideas. This is giving birth to new things. This is things blossoming and blooming. So you're an empress energy. So this is good. You just have to stand your ground and not let anybody take advantage of you, especially if that person took advantage of you in, of you in the past. That's kind of interesting. All right, let's see what else we get here. <clears throat> I'm not feeling bad intentions here, but I feel like you're worried about bad intentions. If that makes sense. Alchemy, you have the Midas touch right now, and every project you begin turns to gold. Good for you, Sag. That's fantastic. So, yeah, let's go with that Midas touch energy. I like that. Um, that means things are going to work out for you, whatever you, it is you're doing. So this person who comes back, it's going to work out for you. You have the latest touch. 
raising your standards ok I'm feeling stand your ground with this too I feel like that's related to this card raise your standards don't let anybody take advantage of you don't be the nice guy all the time I mean look I shouldn't say that because I'm a light worker and I want you to be a nice guy all the time but sometimes you have to be the nice guy to yourself first okay you have to fill your cup up your own cup up first before you can be generous with others so make sure you're doing that make sure you're not taking from you to give to someone else make sure that your cup is full first then be generous then share if that makes sense <laughs> the moon okay take note of intuitive messages so there might be some things that you're not seeing clearly the moon sometimes has things that are hidden from us but it's also a time of um, intuition so the, the moon here is saying listen to your intuition follow your gut you're gonna know the right right, right things to do okay spirits gonna guide you on this okay don't let pride get in your way all right, so whatever happened in the past, um, make sure you're just not being too prideful. I, I feel like whatever this is, this opportunity that's coming into you for you, I feel like it's going to be a really good one. And you don't want to turn it away because you're of your pride, you know? Look, Empress Energy again. You got Yama card. So that's, again... This is a um, fertility card. This is, you know, things are happening. Things are blooming. Things are growing. You know, abundance is coming in. Happiness is coming in. So they're just reminding you of that, that this is a good time for you. You're, you've got the Midas touch right now. So, uh, yeah, like, let's get that started. Whatever, whatever it is, let's make it happen engagement okay so <laughs> for those of you looking for love this soulmate coming in could want an engagement um it could lead to you know it could lead to this or it could just lead to a deeper commitment okay uh you know a, a strong commitment um you know uh, say this is not a love interest say this is a friend coming back who's offering you an opportunity in business okay this is like okay you might sign a contract or you might take it to the next level you might actually start start this uh business with them or something that's what that means And your Acacia card is the King of Forces. So the King of Forces is somebody who is very kind and generous and loving. And he comes in with good intentions. So I feel like this is that person. I feel like this is that soulmate that's coming in um, with really good intentions this time. I told you I felt like it was good. I feel like this is going to be a support for for a project or a work issue um, for those of you who are not looking for love. I feel like this could be a romantic partner coming in who is very kind and generous and honest. He's coming in with honest feelings. And I say he because it's the king of forces, but it could be a she. You know, there's, there's no gender in tarot. Um, so I do feel like this person coming in is is coming in with really good honest intentions if that helps you because I, you know that four cups up there says that you might not be want, you might not want to take this out offer and um, this is spirit saying it's okay to take it. it it's it really is I mean look we have free will we don't have to <laughs> we really don't have to but it's saying that you can and if you do it will be okay you are looking good right now. So you are very attractive to somebody. Somebody is really noticing you and saying, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> you're going to find peace. Peace and happiness is on its way to you. You are putting down roots. You are really growing. Your, um, your foundation is just getting very strong 
right? Look, you got the anchor too. Exactly. You're anchored. You're grounded at this time, which is a really good feeling. It really is. Um, yeah, the bumblebee. So the bumblebee is saying that this could be a work situation, maybe not a love situation. The bumblebee is a hard worker and, you know, they work for the good of the community. So, um, again, honest, honest intentions. This is a good, good opportunity coming in. This is a new life, new life. So new life, new life, baby, baby, new life. Could be now a baby's coming into your life. You got that Yama card. You got that fertility card. New life could be coming in. And that's not for all of you. And it doesn't necessarily have to be you. It could be somebody in your family. Oh, I don't know why. I'm feeling like I'm feeling like some of you might become grandmothers or grandfathers. Hmm. All right, keep that in mind. Look, hello kitty. Hello kitty comes in. This is somebody, this is this is a, a nostalgia charm for me. Um, you know, Hello Kitty was big when I was a kid, like back in the early 80s. Um, you know, so I really feel like somebody from your past is coming back. And it's gonna be a good thing. It's gonna be fun. Hello Kitty was like it was a good thing. It was, they were cute and all those little gadgets that they had, they, you know, we always love to go to the mall and, and, um, either pick up stickers or, you know, something Hello Kitty. And so I feel like that's, uh, that's a nostalgia card for you. Again, a six of cups. Somebody's from your past is coming back. Luck is on your side. You have the Midas touch right now. Just don't hold on. Where's that prideful card? Right here. <laughs> Don't hold on to anything too tightly. You know, loosen your grip. I know you have to stand your ground and not let anybody take advantage of you. But, you know, don't hold on to that too tightly. Don't let pride get in your way, okay? All right, Sagittarius. That is all I have for you today. I hope you liked it. Give the video a thumbs up for me. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that you know that helps me. Makes me grateful. Thank you. <laughs> and until next time, love and light.